Welcome back to another Computer Sluggish Plus video. Have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and press the bell to get notified when I upload a new video. In today's video, I will be showing you how to preload Call of Duty Cold War onto your PC. We are lucky enough to be able to preload the game onto our PCs ready for the launch day, which is this Friday, the 13th, which I cannot wait for. The first thing we need to do is download the Battle.net app. To do this all you need to do is click on the link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. You now need to click on download for windows and we now need to go save file. Once the file has finished downloading we now need to run the setup file. You now need to choose where you'd like to install the Battle.net app. As you can see it does require 290 meg. I'm going to go ahead and keep it on my C drive and once you are happy you can go ahead and press continue. Once Battle.net has finished installing, you will then end up with a window that looks like this. You now need to put in your email and password for the account that you purchased Call of Duty Cold War on. I'm going to go ahead and do that now, and then you need to press log in. Once you have signed into the Battle.net app, you will notice under Partner Games Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War is flashing. You need to click onto this option, and you now need to close down this window. And as you can see, we now have the install button available to us, which is great news. We can now preload our game. We can now go ahead and press install. And you can now choose what parts of the game you would like to install. By default, as you can see, it's going to install the base game, campaign, multiplayer, zombies, dead ops, arcade free. If you click on modify install, we can actually deselect some of these options to make the download size smaller. For example, if you're not going to use Dead Ops Arcade Free, if I deselect that, it's now brought the download size to 79 gig. If I was to deselect the campaign, it then brings the game size down to 36 gig. Once you are happy with your choices, I'm actually going to install the campaign because I want to play the campaign. I've always enjoyed the Call of Duty campaigns. Once you are happy, we can go ahead and press confirm. You can now choose the location where you'd like to install Black Ops Cold War. Make sure you do have enough space on that hard drive. I know I don't have enough space on my C drive, which means I need to change the install location by clicking on change folder. As you can see, I have now changed the location to my D drive. You can now go ahead and change your language if you need to. And you can choose if you'd like auto updates on and if you'd like to create a desktop shortcut. Once you are happy, we can now go ahead and press start install. And Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War will now begin to download. And it's that easy. You will then be able to just jump straight into the game on Friday the 13th, which is great news. No longer do you have to wait to download a game and then not be able to play it on the launch day. I hope this tutorial has helped. If it has, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish plus tutorials.